Alright, hello everybody, uh, it is Chris here again with another video, and in this video today we are going to be, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys um, a video from another YouTube user. So this is already on YouTube, um, however he is giving me permission to use his video on my channel. So once again a big shout out goes to Jim Lee Elevators. Uh, thank you so much for letting me use your video um, on how to deal with uh, security. Now the reason why I call this a is going to be a significant video is because guys, when filming elevators, you have to be prepared for the worst. You might not think it now, it might not seem like now because you know you guys are getting into basic and easy stuff, especially for the younger ones, but one day you will be encountered by a manager, a security guard, secure, a director of security for a store. Um, but you need to be ready for an explanation, and I think my friend Jim Lee Elevators, who uh, films elevators around Sugarland, Texas, which is right near the uh, Houston, Texas area, um, did a phenomenal job of explaining it. Um, you do have to be prepared for the worst, and I think the worst, you know, you know, just be ready with an explanation. You know, don't freak out. Don't complain about it. Don't yell. Um, you need to be prepared for the worst, and you just. You just got to get through it. You have to tell them, listen, this is the story. This is what I'm doing. You know, and if they, you know, if they ask you to ask questions, then, um, you know, you you definitely should comply. Um, you know, obviously they do it for security reasons. And I mean, look, at the end of the day, security guards are doing their job. They're doing what they're told by. Uh, corporate, whether that's a corporate um, instructing them what to do, you know, and, and it's not to say that I that I that I hate security, but again, security is there for a reason. Um, they're there to keep the people safe, whether that's in a department store or in an office building or a parking deck, um, you know. But my friend Jim Lee once again did a phenomenal job of explaining of what's happening, you know. And the least that a security guard can do is, you know, ask you to stop taking pictures and leave the building. And yes, you do you do need to comply if they ask you to do that. Um, and this only, once again, this only goes for private property, not public property. Um, so say something like New Jersey Transit, that's actually a government, this is just an example. New Jersey Transit is a government funded agency. So they can ask, they can't ask you to stop filming because it is funded by the uh, New Jersey state government. So you can film as much as you want because technically it is a publicly uh, government funded transit system. So they don't have the right of way to ask you to stop filming it or take pictures. Um, you know, they might, they might not want it, but you know, they, you know, um, if that, if that, ha if that's the case on public property, immediately contact a police officer. And I'm not saying this because I, I, I want to tell you guys to do this stuff, but there's, there's stuff that you, that you need to do. And there's stuff that you can't control. The stuff you can control is stuff that's filmed on public property. Stuff you cannot control is stuff that is filmed on private property. So public property and private property are two totally different things. But once again, I wanted to say for Jim Lee Elevators, thank you again for letting me uh, use your video. And I think um, we'll all learn something after watching uh, Jim Lee's video. So anyways, guys, I'm now going to go ahead and turn the camera off. And you guys are going to get to see uh, Jim Lee's video. I'm also a, a happy birthday Diesel Lucy shout. I know it's not his birthday. <laughs> I probably should have posted on his birthday, but uh, this is finally the best time I got around to posting the video. So anyways, guys, uh, here's the video. And if you guys want to subscribe to Jim Lee Elevators, the link will be in the descri uh, description below to his channel. He makes some awesome elevator content. Um, and there will be a link in the description to the original video as well. So anyways, guys, enjoy the video. All right. Hi, everybody. This is Jim here on YouTube. And before I get started, I would like to remind you a few things. Whenever you happen to be questioned by anybody who works in the building, such as a staff employee, a security guard, or a property manager, make sure you tell them exactly what you're doing so that they would understand. And if you're asked not to take photos or to leave the building, you must comply with that. Otherwise, you'd be found guilty for trespassing if you refuse to do so when told. However, you are not required to delete anything that you took there. I do not know what you should do if someone asks you to delete the materials, but all I know is that they cannot tell you to delete the stuff that you took on your camera, nor are they allowed to see, touch, or confiscate it. So anyways, what you're about to see in this video is a perfect example of dealing with security the right way, which is pretty much similar to Andrew's video on that 1998 Schindler in that one building he filmed with Lee, also known as the Elevator Geek. That security guard, what you're about to see in this video, was very, very nice. 
Not only that he is very nice of me letting me film, but he also let me show this video to spread to you guys so that you are aware. So I have to give a big thanks to him for allowing me to spread this word on here. So anyways, I hope this is understandable to you. So I'm going to roll the video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, Andrew Diesel Ducey and Jason STL Elevators. Here is a wonderful wheelchair lift right here. Big thanks to one of the staff members who's doing a conference for letting me film this. I don't usually film this thing. All right, let's jump inside. Close that up. I don't know what brand this is. Oh, it's a Harmar. It's a Harmar wheelchair lift. Never heard of that brand before. We'll get a good look at this cab. Andrew and Jason, make sure you tell me. Oh, it's a Highlander by Harmar. I never heard of that brand before. All right, here are your fixtures. Let's take this thing up. Here we go. Get a view of the controls right here. It's a little low light, so see there's your controls. I gotta talk over the music. Here's a view right there into the hallway area. Hi. Okay. Yes, I'm just an elevator enthusiast. There was some person, someone was a, a loading the luggage down here, and I asked if I could if I could do a quick video of it, and, and he and he said yes. If I if you not let me, I apologize. Okay. I'll get off and leave. No, you're you're fine. I just need to ask a few questions. Are you a guest of the hotel at all? No, I'm not. No. Okay, that's fine. That's still okay. Uh, what are you doing it for? Uh, I just I just like to film elevators as a hobby, and uh, and, uh, and I just I just share it over social media. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So yeah, I okay. yeah. If I, I, that's why I want to let you know in case you're wondering what's going on. Do 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 you work here or something? I do. I'm the director of security. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, this. We just know. we just have to ask a few questions. If anybody's filming any of our area, anything in the hotel. Um, we do need to ask a few questions. Find out what's your name again. My name is Jim. Jim. I'll talk about it uh, later. I'm just, uh, you know, it's just I, 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 print, I, I don't, I don't really like sharing too much information. No, and I all understand. That. It's just for privacy reasons. Let's step out here. You know, I'll let, me, let me get one last caveat, and then I'm, I'm just gonna. All right, there it goes, and there are, your, there are controls, and that's it. Okay. So right after I stop the camera, I then continue on the conversation about my whole elevator hobby with the security member while I was walking upstairs to the lobby. And overall, as you just heard in this video, how he dealt with me, he was very, very considerate. Not only that he completely understands my whole elevator hobby, but he also knows a lot about how other security members have treated photographers. Now I ask that you please do not say anything mean in the comments about security members as they're doing their jobs as instructed by their building managements. Yes, I completely understand things turned out of hand when dealing with getting busted, but still I ask that you please keep your comments appropriate. And then I also told him about trespassing, which he knows a lot about all that as well also. But I am not gonna say anybody's names to avoid conflict, so if you do know, please do not mention in the comments at all. And finally, at the end, I asked him if I could share this video for importance, and he told me, yes, sure you can. Go spread the word. So that is what I'm exactly going to do as he asked me to. Then after that, we're all cool. I told him, thank you so much, and have a great day. And I just left the building with a happy ending. So that security member I talked with was amazing. Not only that he is so considerate of my elevator hobby, but for allowing me to share this video up on here to show you guys how important it is to respect building owners. So I hope this made you feel better, you learned something, and that I hope I explained everything clearly well. So before I conclude this video, I want to give two shout outs. One, Andrew Reams, also known as Diesel Doocy, because today is his birthday. If y'all not wish... If y'all have not wished Andrew a happy birthday, I recommend doing so. 
Today is Andrew Reams' birthday. And second of all is Chris Cronin. Um, Chris, if you're watching this video, um, you have my permission to use this on your channel. Just to use the ones where I was on the wheelchair lift and talking with the security member. And also that you, you did a very good explaining on the on your video. I talked with you a couple months ago. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this video that I made it a, a happy educational one. So hope you all enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I wish all of you the best. Have a great weekend. Bye everyone.